Hi, it's Annalise Sanchez, and today I will be giving my book review on the book Farm City by Novella Carpenter. So it starts out with Novella and her husband Bill. They're looking for an apartment, and they um, end up finding one in Oakland. It's in the ghetto. And the reason they pick it is because there's a plot of land behind it that's abandoned. And so Novella sees it as a perfect, perfect opportunity to have her own um, gardening area to plant crops because she likes to grow her own vegetables and fruit. So once this happens, she actually decides to start doing poultry as well. So she starts with chickens. So she's able to um, keep their eggs and cook them as well. And then she eventually moves on to turkey, rabbits, and pigs. And while she's doing this, she also has tomatoes and watermelon, lettuce, and onions. And before she um, realizes it, she's considered an urban farmer. Um, some things that she goes through is figuring out how to properly take care of an animal and how to slaughter it. She ends up doing it all by herself. Um, from reading books and talking to other urban farmers. How this relates to ecology is testing the soil and fruit and vegetables is extremely important because there could be nitrogen or lead in the soil that could grow in the vegetables and get you sick or whoever else eats it. Um, during the book, she had a potato bug problem and it ended up messing up all her potatoes and she couldn't harvest them. And in ecology, we would learn about that and what kind of things you could use to get rid of the bugs, fertilizers, like what kind of fertilizers to use. Um, something that was kind of funny but sad is that some of the turkeys and chickens did end up dying because it just shows what an urban farm in the city looks like. And dogs ended up getting in her farm and killing the turkey and the chickens. Um, something that I thought was interesting is she asked how many people would eat meat if they had to kill it themselves. I know I personally probably wouldn't eat meat if I had to slaughter it because when she described it in the book, it just didn't sound fun at all. And this also connected to like, so this book came out in 2010 and it talked about the bird flu and right now we're going through the coronavirus. So it's kind of relatable, um, but yeah, I thought it was a really good book, and I thought it was interesting, and it was funny, and it was not boring, and it definitely had a bunch of ecology in it, and it was not a bad read. It was 270 pages, and um, I recommend it. Thank you.